Hi, my name is Amanda Rocha. I am an estate planning and probate attorney in California, and today we are going to talk about common law marriages. Before we get into it, I'm going to give you my contact information. You can find me on social media at Amanda Rocha Law. You can find me on my website at www.amandarochalaw.com, or you can comment down below if this platform allows you to do that. So let's just talk about it. Common law marriages. You hear about them a lot in movies or on TV shows. What does it mean? I remember growing up thinking it meant if you lived with someone for seven years, then you had a common law marriage and you would have all of the rights and obligations of a person who went through with a marital ceremony. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Every state has different laws. So as always, I live in California and I practice in California. So the laws that I discuss are California laws, unless I say that they are federal laws. In which case, that doesn't mean that another state wouldn't have additional laws or conflicting laws. So California does not have something known as a common law marriage. You can live with someone for a hundred years and you still are not considered a married couple if you haven't actually gotten married. Um, but there are a few catches. First, if you are considered legally married in another state, and that means if you have a common law marriage in another state and you've been living there, you have commingled assets and you live as a married couple, and you come to California, you might be considered a married couple for purposes of estate planning and other family law things. It just depends on your specific situation. Um, but if you are married in a way that another state allows that maybe California doesn't, um, that could be, you know, all sorts of Nevada style weddings. <laughs> um, uh, they, they're going to be honored in California as a valid marriage because all the states recognize each other's marriages with a reciprocity. So uh, that would be a, a way in which your marriage is, marriage is valid. Another thing that is kind of like a common law marriage, but not really, is what's known as a putative spouse. And that is when two people honestly and truly believe that they are married. By mistake, they're not, but they subjectively, but truly believe that they are married. That would mean that certain laws would apply to them as if they were married. Let's say if you went through an estate uh, probate, let's say a probate proceeding, um, and you can prove that you thought that you were both thought that you were married, you thought you had a actual wedding, and maybe the person who performed it wasn't ordained correctly or something like that, then uh, you will probably benefit from the marriage in the way that you would have if it were legal. That doesn't mean that if you thought common law marriage was a thing and it wasn't that you are a married couple, that's a little bit um, on the line and and not probably not going to fly. There are also certain things called uh, Marvin relationships, which is based on a, a case known as the Marvin case, um, which I'm not going to bore you with the details, but basically uh, live in couples who are unmarried or not in a domestic partnership could have some agreements above and beyond common law style agreements. And by common law style agreements, I mean regular contractual and tort agreements in the law. Um, it In a more marriage style agreement in certain instances. I'm not going to go over everything. Um, but just so you know, there are some exceptions. So if you have any questions about this or you're curious to know more information, please contact me. We can discuss it in detail. You can find me on my website, www.amandarochalaw.com. You can comment down below if this platform allows you to do so, or you can find me on social media at Amanda Rocha Law. Thank you.